having this as a musician, I think, is um, is doing your own thing. It's not always easy. Um, you got plenty of people in here telling you if you just compromise or if you just play Slimey's Dream 2 or whatever the fuck people want from you. Um, and most of those suggestions have nothing to do with happiness. If you really, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I understand on a business level, like, Siamese Dream 2 would probably be very good for a business thing, right? money, whatever, fame, whatever. It, that is, it has nothing to do with my happiness. And so it's weird because at some point somebody's suggesting to you, hey, can you be super unhappy for a while so I can get what I want? I mean, that doesn't make sense in human uh, exchange, but somehow it makes sense in celebrity land. Uh, I'll do whatever you need me to do so you can love me one more time, you know. Um, as far as personal life, I think it's very simple things. Uh, kitties and puppies and love and home and good meal. Oh, well, no, the cups are, have nothing to do with happiness. Uh, <laughs> Tea. Tea. I, mean, I mean, that's the one thing I can say very openly, honestly, is that no amount of success in, in, in the world that I inhabit has ever made me happy in a way that home and friendships and people you trust. Somebody asked me yesterday, um, and you know, I, I got the question. It was like the guy was saying, "What's it like to have Jimmy back playing with you?" You know, and I and I said, "You know, actually, it's it's very different than you think it is. It's like it's like it's it's like would be asking me, what's it like to see your brother or your cousin? It's like it's 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 family. It's not it's not like oh yeah, business. It's like my brother's back in the band for five minutes to play these songs. It's awesome, but it's not like oh yeah, blah 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 blah. It doesn't work like that." You know? So I can I learned my lesson in that the happiness can only happen in your personal life from things that really matter. Because um, because the minute you have success in the music business, there's a clock ticking somewhere you're going to lose. Uh, you know, I have somebody told me the other day I've had 30 charting singles. 30, 30. That's insane, right? Is this place sold out tonight? I don't know. But we ain't playing the dome down the street. You know what I mean? There's no nothing is enough. That's my point. No amount of uh, great songs, great concerts, personal moments, taking pictures, signing autographs is enough. There's always somebody pissed off. There's always somebody, you didn't do enough, you didn't believe enough, you didn't. That's why that, that Stones had that great song about it's only rock and roll, but I like that these things. If I took my heart out and threw it on the stage, you know, would it be enough? And the answer is no. <laughs> you know, it's, it's never going to be enough. It's, it's not meant to be enough. It's a fantasy. So I'm a fantasy killer. All right, one more question. Make it, no, you already had yours. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, well, in, in the case of the uh, the Pink Floyd um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction speech that I gave in '96, um, I think that came from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I think it was their idea. I'm sure they cleared it with the band first, um, but it was that that idea. But then through that, I got to know them a little bit, and then. So that's kind of opened the door where it's like there's certain things that have happened through the years involving them, some personal, some professional, um, which is amazing because it's, you know, it's a band that just gets better and better and better um, with what they were able to accomplish in their musicality. And then, then I'm going to be doing this charity event in uh, October with Roger Waters, which is awesome. So um, I've never met Roger, um, so be weird when you get the Roger Waters email. <laughs> so, all right, I got time for one more. That was a quickie. No. <laughs> Come on, nobody. All right, goodbye. What does no. the C mean? Huh? The C. What does the C mean? What is the what? The C. The C? On the C? On the C? Yes. Oh, it means from, from the sufferer? Yes. I don't talk about specific things. <laughs> What's it mean to you? Riding the fence, maybe? Close. <laughs> <laughs> On the cuffs, you know, maybe pushing it too much? No, I think you're looking at it the wrong way. I think um, human life is, is a condition of duality. So, uh, what is balance? Like if you're, a, if you're a dog and you just want to eat food, then you're manipulating you know, whoever's running the house to get the food. <laughs> so what is the scene 
between the dog's needs and why you have a dog. Some people are happy to keep feeding the dog treats because the dog does it all this bit. I don't like to be, as I like to say, resting again, I don't like to be worked by my dog. <laughs> you know, you know, I don't buy this. <laughs> so I, the dog and I, uh, the dogs and I have a different sort of midpoint than, than maybe somebody else with their animal or their friend or their lover or something. So if you're talking about dream, what is the midpoint of the dream? Make sense? Yes. Yeah. And it always changes. You know, it always changes. And that's the great lesson you learn in public life is be careful what you wish for because you'll get it. What was this thing? Um, and the guy meets the genie and he says, I want, um, I want all the gold in the world. And the genie buries the guy underneath the gold and goes, well, he wanted all the gold. <laughs> so there you go. All right. God bless you. Okay.